smart of a player he is. You yes. know? And, and when he plays Palu, sometimes he gets lost in the translation of a really good character. <laughs> but when he plays Banjo, you're just like, oh my god, he really thinks about his opponent's options. You can see how it evolves and changes. And he really. Dog, hello? He's not dead, though. But, okay, that was. So solid I thought damage. I thought was going to put him off like, far enough. He was already out of sand. Man, Banjo hits like a truck. <laughs> There we go. Turn it up, grab. Hello. Wow. Eight, wow. Six. We. Oh, I'm talking my, about. Beat out Wonderwing. Poo. Banjo putting out a lot of damage to our price to get our set. Our set. Why am I even surprised about our set's damage at this point? I mean, I. <laughs> Uh, it's also like because Banjo Kazooie is a big frame, it's harder for him to avoid the really like those huge commas. He just catches him dropping shield. Fantastic read from Ice, and he has only taken 65. 80 from now. And he has to deal with that little Sonic Spring game. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we keep this combo going. Nice. Gets the read gets the roll read in. And what's the mix? Okay. Ice uh Ray knows the up tilt. Not guaranteed out of that one. And okay, Ice playing a lot more. This is going a lot better than the last time they played. The last time they played, Ice just had miss input after miss input. Oh, and that was a great reach. job. He was fading back. A pool, like, gaming should get a reliable punish. You don't want to get clipped by Wonder Wing because you got too happy, you know? Yeah. That's kind of like the way Ice is playing, too. Not choosing the best, not to, like, approach Banjo recklessly or, like, by pressing too many buttons. If you do that, you're going to die. That's the second. He only has two Wonder Wings left. But it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Could this be a dead one? Yeah. There we go. Right into the up tilt. And now, because there's only Joker, he has a little bit of an opportunity here at, to rack up some serious percent. Uh, maybe even if he gets some really solid combo, he could take a stock before Arsene even shows up. Yes, you can. Honestly, well, I don't think he even needs a combo. Probably, maybe one of the straight areas will do it. Or I like. Joker not that strong by himself. He needs the he needs the zapper down the middle. I don't think he wanted that forward air out of the parry, but I think they might have tried to go for a nair or something. Man, there's he's out of Wonder Wings. That yeah, means there's not really a reasonable way for him to take a super early stock anymore. And when he's off stage, it's going to be harder for him to recover. Wow, yes, down to finishing the job. Wonder Wing refreshing, but now he's got all the percent to make up. All right, finally get to grab him. Mix. I still don't. Oh, he's dead! Oh, oh what great DI surviving right there. So close to the blast zone. But Ice, if he's alive, that's huge because A, he can rack up 50%, but also there is a decent chance. Never mind. I was going to say, <laughs> well, like, if he got like one Rebel Scar, he could even have another Arsene yes, shot he before he died. But yes, he now this uh, is a super even game. Only 43% onto uh, Utopian Ray. Considering kill percent. Not a bro? Did he spot dodge or was there some like tangibility involved? I in think there's some kind of tangibility, but it isn't didn't work. We're both getting into this. I finally have find the hit in. That's risky, bro. You can't go off stage versus Banjo. Oh, our send almost gone though, and that's gonna be a huge relief for Utopian Ray. It's gonna be that much harder for Ice to kill. And he's already at 91. One forward air from probably mid-stage from Utopian Ray could kill him. My eyes are just on the way Ray is moving right now. Not falling into any of his well he was not falling into any of Ice's moves. Great parry. Oh, great timing on the jump check. from Ice. Oh, no grab. All right, solid back there. An edge guard here with Bro, hello. Cassie tried to jump is. out. Shades of the Palace in the back here. <laughs> Ooh, so game one going to ice. Hey. And, oh, yeah, back here, sir. These guys just, they just don't switch stages. Keep in mind that on the whole, though, that was in no way a dominant showing mm -mm. from Ice. Ended up being really close. And he had that huge lead that Topolino was able to 
bring back, set. yeah, bring back to a dead even matchup. You see them had the lead there for a while. Um, Ice is able to clutch it out. I wonder if he's still going to keep the same fire that he had in uh, the last Docket Out game. Granted, like, you know, Bandit Case switches up because it's the way the character is designed. Ooh. Lasting forever. How much damage does that end final hit do? That, that do like 20? 20, yeah. Oh my it is meaty. Uh, Ice running the clinic on Ray right now. And all the damage off and the Blunderwing read. That's another Wonderwing gone. And yes, it's important to have, you know, a way for the cover back to stage, but you're expending a very limited resource. Mm -hmm. And when you're down by this much, sometimes that Wonder Wing kill is... I mean, we saw how we well, stocked two of the last game. That was how... Oh, I think it was probably a misinput, honestly. Probably. Oh, no. Prepare, but now, I sense here. And he's so close to death. Look at shield. Oh, it's so tiny. Oh, my goodness. Great landing from Utopian uh, Raido. Ah, but a shield poke on that forward tilt. Indeed. Gonna do him in, you know, getting too defensive. And Arsene does so much shield damage. Starting a stop with Arsene, too. Oh my god, catch him right at the end. Thank god, Wondering actually has a late hit. He's dead. Wow, what a kill. Oh, the deep. Oh my goodness. So we're back into this ice game. These combos off triple up air, catching the air dodge, and no follow up after that though. Unfortunately, I usually thought that was confirmed, like a confirm. Yeah, true combo. What do I say? Good spacing and a recovery from ice. Dude, not trying to get gimped early. If I'm being honest, if I was ice, I would not want to play another game with this banjo. Nice. In that stock, honestly, I really think. Uh, I didn't think that would kill you. I thought Banjo was heavier than that. Really big hit, but not enough to actually seal the deal. And that's what uh, Tokyo Ray needs right huge. now. Yes, it is. Discount Snake showing off his stuff. That could have been scary. That could have been really bad for Ice. Missing the grab. Always ends up like this. Always end up with like one of them having a lead and then it just brings it like right back to his last box situation. It's wonder. It's beautiful to see, honestly. It's a great play from both of them. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Utopian Ray was the one who's behind both games. So that really speaks to his ability to adapt in mid-game because Ice clearly came back, you know, had a, he had a different game plan. And nonetheless, Utopian Ray was able to adapt to that one as well. And now we have his super last hit situation. Arsene is gone, which is... Arsene is Ray gone, I think. a little bit easy, but Ice has been taking stocks without him. Yes, he has. Not to mention, Ray has one more Wonder Ring left in the tank. So that can be used to make some really clutch play. Can, or he might have to use it for a cover. Indeed. Or catch Ice overextending. Keeping him on the ledge here. Great berry. Still find himself off stage. Good job getting off the ledge. Our center is almost gone. Going way off there for an edge guard. He has two more left? Right, but this is the last Wonder Wing. And Arsene is gone. The back air is still a super big threat. At the ledge, it might actually be able to still take the stock. Send it back off stage again. There's the last one. And, and he gets it. it out with the forward smash. All right, and that's the best two out of three, right? Or mm -hmm. Yep. So we're now moving into Loser's Finals, which is a run.